Have you ever thrown lots of money at a gacha game only to not be able to roll your waifu or husbando? Oshirabu's Akuru Hayahoshi has. Obsessed with her latest gacha game, despite throwing her rent away in order to roll her beloved husband, she fails in her attempts. That is, until a chance encounter with the beautiful unlucky Ren Furutachi allows her to roll her husbando. Through a series of misunderstandings leading into a proposal, leads into a shocking turn of events. As it turns out, Akuru isn't the only one with an obsession, as Ren firmly declares her love for Akuru as Ren's waifu. Will these two ever be able to make amends and live together peacefully in this girl's love visual novel? Short answer, it's complicated. Oshirabu is a short girl's love visual novel where we have Akuru Hayahoshi being pursued by Ren Furutachi. After the two get acquainted, they shortly end up living together and the visual novel details the adventures of Akuru trying to live her life standing her husbando, but then her self-proclaimed girlfriend tags along for good luck in the literal sense of the word. The story scenarios play out very closely to one another in this romantic love triangle between Ren, Akuru, and Akuru's non-existent 2D anime husbando, where Akuru is fangirling during an event and Ren is getting jealous. But over time, the moments that they spend together become more meaningful as Akuru comes to terms with the aggressively charming woman living in her house. It's a cute story, but I wish there was more. With each scenario, the setting gets established, a slight argument between the two happens, and then it ends as quickly as a new scenario gets introduced. I would have loved it if they took longer and built up more of the slice of life moments between the two, add a couple more meaningful conflicts involving Ren, and have a bigger romantic ending payoff. I'm still a bit mad, as my choice I made at the ending, as the quote unquote painfully obvious decision, led into an alright climax into a laughing track ending, but the alternative decision had a way more momentous and romantic ending. The average reading time for this visual novel is about 5 hours, but it really needs much more. The 18 plus DLC with the EX scenario helped a little in this regard in terms of fully rounding out Akuru's relationship progression into acceptance, but in terms of the base content, it needed to be longer, and that's even without the sex in the EX scenario. It's like how a romance anime ends when the two characters get together, but doesn't show the moments of their relationship together as a couple. Now let's talk about the production of Oshirabu for a bit. Oshirabu was developed by Sukera Sumero, a sister brand of Sukera Sparrow, known for being a girl's love game developer, releasing other works like the expression Amarillato. One of the immediate impressions I had from the visual novel is the unique character art style. The artist responsible is DSmile9, showing off the characters through colorful, lush designs and bright highlights. It's definitely an art style that stands out in a good way, especially with those computer graphics, or otherwise known as CGs. While I do have positive thoughts about the art style, the same can't be said about the UI choice. I found the font text choice to be hard to read, and the dialogue box color choice doesn't help provide enough contrast between the two. I could have set the text background to full opacity, but at that point I'm missing out on one fourth of the general screen, which hurts the immersion especially with those special scene CGs. Another particular complaint is the menu options on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Those options do not go away, and they sit there as a minor distraction. This adds to my point about the immersion experience I was talking about. A visual novel should let the story play out like the way you want it to, running automatically like a movie. But any interfering elements like UI can serve as a minor distraction to your experience. Oshirabu has only a couple of songs to its soundtrack, mostly serving as backing tracks, ranging from cheery pop beats to comedic scenario cutaway tracks. It's nothing too special, but as I'm editing this review, I've enjoyed listening to these pieces as actual songs. On the other hand, the opening, Love Emotion by Suzuyu, is super catchy with its very positive, cheerful score and anime J-pop vibes, definitely adding to the animated flair of the opening sequence. Oshirabu is a good, fluffy, Yuri visual novel. Despite my nitpicking, there are complaints that can be easily approved upon. It's fine as a standalone, but I definitely want more of these two characters, and what we got was just not enough. If anything, it's a good thing that my main complaint was the amount of content. But regardless, it's a simple, short girls love romance story as these two heroines overcome their troubles to better understand each other.